figure of Yomif Kajelcha, but the early leader now back in the middle of the pack. Inga Britson just putting his hand out there to indicate to uh, Nur, as the camera's focusing on Katir, he just wanted Nur to leave his heels alone. He was getting clipped there, Inga Britson, who's now at the back of that group. We've got around four athletes beginning to become detached, one of whom is Nordas, who got a bronze in the 1500 metres. And interesting that Chalimo's off the back. He got a bronze medal last year, the Ugandan. So there's a group forming here with four already beginning to feel the effects. Well, we've just passed the 1500 metre mark to go, so that's familiar ter territory for Jakob Ingebrigts, and he moves up to the furthest he's been in this field so far. And also, Mohamed Katir of Spain, he's very, very good over 15. He would have been bitterly disappointed, as, as you said, Rob, to fail to make that 1500 metre final. When you talk about an opportunity for redemption, Katir in the full red strip there of Spain, just behind Jakob Ingebrigts, and will be desperate to get another global medal here in the 5000. Somebody needs to make a move here. Aragawi's gone to the front and it's been solid pace. 63s and 64s. But there's still a big, big group of athletes here. Aragawi looking over his shoulder. Needs to make sure he doesn't get distracted and trip himself up. Aragawi from Gebri Hiwa. And look at this from Gravalio. He's got a really distinctive style and stride, the Guatemalan. As Krop, uh, Inga Britson's got his... Heels clipped there as Gressier also had to move out a little wider. 62.1, that was a little quicker and that's why one or two have become detached. Inga Britson, the defending champions in fifth, but this is an absolutely loaded field and a big, big group of athletes still in contention. These are the four trying to reattach themselves to the uh, big group, but they've got a long way to go to do so. McSwain and Neuer, perhaps the next casualties off this group. They're starting to spread out ever so slightly. Aragari pouring the pressure on at the front. And suddenly, this is what happens in a 5,000. You think you've got laps for days, but all of a sudden, just 800 metres to go. These men will have butterflies in their stomachs. If they're still in contention now, they'll know if they put every foot right in the next 700 metres, if they can gauge their effort correctly, do the correct defensive moves, have a big aggressive move for a win. Gressier looking up at the big screen, he's hanging in incredibly well there in third place. But Aragari didn't want to give up the lead. He fought Grahalva here at this stage. It's 600 metres to go. The positioning and the effort over the final circuit of this 400 are going to be absolutely crucial. Inga Britson looks for space on the inside. There's loads of traffic. This is going to be a brilliant final 500 metres. Gressier looking for a gap on the inside, but it isn't there. And look at this from Kebri Hiwa. They take the bell in the final of the men's 5,000 metres. Now the burn-up begins. Kebri Hiwa, who was on the podium 10 years ago as a teenager, he's rediscovered the best form of his life. Now Katia down the back straight, the Spaniard who didn't make the final of the 1,500. Still Inga Britson trying to close. Remember, the defending champion hasn't done a 5,000 all season long. Now the Norwegian comes. Can he harness the disappointment from the 1,500 and retake this crown once again? He looks over his shoulder. What a run by Katir. They've got a gap on the rest of about five or six metres. He needs to find something here. He wants to be regarded as an all-time great. To do that, he's got to bounce back from the 15. Inga Britson with the best victory of his career. There was the heart, there was the belief, and there was the determination. The mark of an amazing champion is how they bounce back from defeat. And Inga Britson has roared, roared back to the top of the world. Back to back 5,000 metre titles. I know he was desperate for the 1500, but that in the context is the best victory of his life. And what a silver for Mohamed Katia. He too bouncing back from his disappointment of not making the 1500 final. Wow! This 5000 was fabulous. Crop jogging off. It was a medal last time round for him. A silver and it's going to be bronze.
but Jakob Ingebrigtsen, that was absolute perfection. 2.21 for the final kilometre. And I couldn't read that facial expression down the home straight. He was looking up at the board. Was that to make sure?